Good yeah. job, Jet. Good job, Jet. That's a plus. That's a plus. I never go a day without working on my craft, whether it's mentally or physically. One thing my dad's always taught me is there's no such thing as pressure. It's all in your head, and it's a lot of mental games. I want to know what I'm looking for when you're at your best. What's that look like? What's that sound like in your head? This doesn't look fun for you. What's the mindset that comes before fun? Just having fun, smiling. Well, go do that right now. Are you up? Let me see the swag. Ready, set, hut. Yeah, see, it's already there. It's already there. God bless it, come here, right? The difference of that is unbelievable, isn't it? But it just looks fun, too. You see how it pops out when it comes? Boom. Okay, so set that. Every rep, you're working on putting yourself in your right vibe, and then, and then focus on what you want to have happen. It's that simple. What's come to be my role here at Elite 11 is to help athletes and coaches better understand the mental part of the game. The mental part of the game matters, and it matters a lot. How many of you are curious about confidence? Hands up, way up. Right now, uh, you're in the age group where you're trying to figure out who you are. There's so many different factors, so many different parts of who you are as, as a young man that we need to embrace all of it. If you're not careful, you will adopt this sentence, I am a quarterback. If you adopt this statement, I am a quarterback, and that becomes your identity, then every time you go step on the field, you're risking your identity. Don't adopt that statement. You are not just a quarterback. You're a son, you're a brother, you're a student. You're lots of different things, not just an athlete and not just a quarterback. Michael Gervais is the poster boy for holistic training in this space. It's impactful. You know, they get just enough to where they can actually utilize it within the week. 1,421, 1,400. Oh, 1,420, yeah. One of the things we can guarantee will take place is somebody's gonna make some mistakes. It's gonna happen. Now, those moments are so wonderful because they reveal the psychological framework of the athlete. Felipe Franks steps right up. He raises his hand and says, let me see how my mind works, and I wanna do it in front of everybody else. Dr. Drew, he did bring me up in front of the, uh, the group for a mind test to see if I could count the alphabet backwards. And I want you to go Z26, then what would you do next? So Z26, then I'd go Y25. Great, okay, you guys see what's up? So we're gonna see how your mind works under pressure. Okay, so whenever you're ready. Z26, Y25. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Mechanically, he didn't finish the task. It's a challenging task. It's real, and we all know that watching it, but it's different when we're in it. So you jumped right, up what? like, yeah, let me see how my mind works under pressure. How did you do? Okay. Yeah. So, so. <laughs> it just shows you, you know, there's just different ways to test your brain. And, uh, you know, that was one of the ways, and it tested my brain, and, you know, I, I couldn't count backwards the alphabet. Whether he could be successful in the mechanics of it or not, if he had practice, he'd get it. He could memorize this over and over again. But what happens in his inner dialogue and what happens in his body? That's the real test of how he did under pressure. Just him putting up his hand and stepping forward and allowing himself to be uncomfortable, that's the win. Literally, we pack, but two months worth of stuff into 122 hours. But what we're learning is, you know, you give them all these tools and then they'll choose which one out of the toolkit that we've given them that's gonna best help them.